Hi, this is Dennis, and today I wanted to talk about the Orion DC-DC chargers from Victron. And specifically, they have two versions, an isolated version and a non-isolated version. And we've gotten a lot of questions about which one do I want and why are there differences. So the main difference is the isolated version has two grounds and the non-isolated version has one ground. So for example, you can see on this DC-DC charger, We've got an input that has a positive and a negative and an output that has a positive and a negative. The negatives are completely isolated from each other. That's why it's called the isolated DC-DC charger. They're electrically isolated. The input and the output are not connected in any way. What this means is that if you've got a dirty input line, the output line won't share that same dirty ground. This is important if you have, for example, sensitive electronic equipment like radio equipment or something like that. If you've got a messy input signal coming from, let's say, your alternator or whatever your DC source is, that messiness is not going to translate to your device loads. And just as a comparison, this is the Sterling DC-DC or battery-to-battery -battery charger. You can see that there's only three outputs here. There is two positives the input positive and the output positive, and there's only one negative, and that's because they're sharing the same ground. So that's the difference between non-isolated and isolated. So why would you actually want a non-isolated version? Well, if it doesn't matter, the non-isolated version is cheaper.